Hi, I'm Caroline Dunn, personal trainer, nutrition coach and yoga teacher. So you're wanting to make changes to your health, fitness and how you feel, right? That's why you clicked on this video. Then first of all, I want to say congratulations on your commitment towards your goals for taking that small step just by clicking here. And it is in fact the biggest and most important step when you decide to change. So I am so, so proud of you for getting to this stage. Feeling that need for change and being ready to act on it is the gateway into everything else. But it can also be a pretty painful place to be. So when you're ready to start making changes, it can feel hugely uncomfortable, frustrating, overwhelming, exciting, and scary. So when you know what you're doing is no longer working for you, but figuring out how to start making changes is often just the hardest bit. So I'm gonna share with you my top tips today as to how you might start to begin these changes. First one, show up for yourself. This is the most powerful thing that you can do, is to learn how to show up for yourself. And sometimes we're a long way in the opposite direction and that's okay from our goals. And our self-confidence and self-efficacy, the belief that we can do this, can be at full ebb. So if this is you, then I'd suggest starting small. Make a small promise to yourself and keep it. So an easy one to begin with if you need an idea is maybe just to start by making the bed for yourself when you get up in the morning. And the reason being is when you start to keep these promises that you make for yourself, even though they sound too small, too easy, not impactful enough, what you are actually doing is building up the habits and identity of someone who shows up for themselves. Someone who invests in themselves and does what they say they're going to do for themselves. And that identity is powerful. Someone who shows up for themselves sees the value in themselves and that leads on to all sorts. So keeping those small promises also builds confidence and that in turn builds competence. You get better at showing up for yourself. That breeds momentum leading to more changes and that is going to feel like a very good place to be. Okay, big idea number two. If you're struggling with where to start, an idea is to start with your physical body. Often I see this as a useful gateway to change, is to start with your body, your actual physical aspects, especially if you feel like you have a lot of changes you want to make in stress and nutrition, etc. It's feeling like too much. Making changes to help your physical body influences your mind, it influences your emotions, and it builds the confidence to then start making changes in other areas. So one way of doing this is to simply start with some movement, some exercise. And I believe one of the ways exercise does, does this is that it allows us to redefine impossible for ourselves. The reality is our mind limits us more than our bodies ever do. So we look at that workout and we think we can't do it, but we surprise ourselves by getting it done. We think we can't do those last couple of reps and we want to give up, but somehow we do them and we surprise ourselves. So working on your fitness allows energy levels to rise, the mind to be a little bit clearer, and it can help with stress management. And remember, starting with exercise doesn't need to feel overwhelming and doesn't need to be a tough workout. You might start this aspect just by going for a five to 10 minute walk. Okay, big idea number three. Don't stay stuck. Don't stay stuck. Just because it sounds easy and obvious to start working out or to start to change your nutrition, it doesn't mean that it is. And I hear this with a lot of fitness and nutrition um, goals. People say to me, coaching clients when they approach me, I know what to do, I just can't seem to do it or I just need to do it. And we think we should be able to figure it out. And when we find it tough or we give up, it erodes our confidence and self-efficacy. But making changes is hard. It involves unpicking a lot of hardwired patterns, ways of thinking, restructuring our environment and embracing levels of discomfort and vulnerability that can feel very, very scary. So don't stay stuck with it. Don't tell yourself that it's easy and you should just be able to do it. Instead, 
offer yourself some kindness and acknowledge that what you're trying to do is tough and it's going to require patience and kindness from yourself to get there. But you can do it. When you persevere, you are powerful. And persevering with someone else on your team who knows you and who has been there before and can guide you is even more powerful. So asking for help is one of the main ways that you can do this. So no matter if you've tried and given up in the past, no matter if you found ways that don't work for you, and no matter if you're not sure that you can do it, you're here listening, watching this because there's a small voice within you somewhere that believes that this change is for you to get confident, stronger, more healthy and fitter. And that small voice knows that you can do it, that you're ready for it. And that knows that also there's another level of confidence and energy, peace, power and strength for you to experience in your life. So how about you do this with us? If you're ready for change and you loved what you are learning here, then do check out my coaching options. My group coaching program called the Healthy Happy Strong Plan is starting January the 24th and there is still time to join us. This is 12 weeks of online fitness, nutrition and mindset coaching with full support from a like-minded group of women who get it and who get you. So if you have any questions about this, then head to the link in my description where you can find out way more and also sign up to be part of it. I'm inviting you. Let's do this together.